Welcome back, friends. In this video, I'm going to show you an automatic invoice template in Microsoft Excel. First, I will explain the features and then explain how to set it up for the first use. If you are looking for a dynamic invoice system in Excel which does everything automatically, you can download this template from the website given in video description below. First, let me quickly explain the key features. This first sheet has the operating guidelines. You can read it for more clarity. Second sheet is the dynamic invoice format. Here you will create the invoices for the customers. After creating an invoice, if you want to take a printout and save the invoice as PDF, use this print and save button. To save the invoice without printing, use this save invoice button. To cancel the invoice, use the cancel button. To open the invoice backup folder, use this open invoice backup button. The invoice date, invoice number, and due date will auto update. If you save an invoice, number will automatically change to next number. In inventory sheet, you will see the movement details of stock or inventory. It shows the item wise opening stock, receipts, sales, and balance inventory. The sales and balance stock will auto calculate. And the opening stock and receipts has to be filled manually. The next sheet is the database sheet where sales database will be maintained automatically. Once you save an invoice, the item wise sales detail will automatically populate here. Next sheet is the invoice and payment tracker sheet. The details of invoice will populate in this sheet automatically after saving the invoice. The received payments will automatically allocate to the invoices based on first payment first allocation method. Next sheet is the payment receipt sheet where you need to enter the customer wise payment receipt details. Finally, the last sheet is the customer and item master where you need to enter the details of customer and items. Let's practically see how does this system work. Let me go to invoice sheet and create an invoice first. In customer name, let me select customer CD. In item name, let me select item A. Here you see the rate, amount, and taxes are auto-calculated. In the balance stock, you will see the available stock of product A. If you enter the quantity that is greater than available balance, you will get stock out notification. Reduce the quantity which is in stock. Enter few more items and quantity. Look at the end of invoice, net amount is calculated and the amount is auto converted to words format. This invoice generated date time will auto update when you save the invoice. Let me click on this print and save button. This window is displayed because my computer is not connected to an active printer. But if your computer is connected to a printer, you will not get this message. Simply click on this cancel button. Here you see, invoice is saved as PDF copy. Close this PDF. Look at the invoice number. It has auto changed to two. Click and look at the inventory sheet. Here the sales and balance column is auto updated. See in the database sheet, sales data has been updated. In invoice and payment tracker sheet, the invoice is auto updated. Suppose that you received a payment form customer CD, then enter it in the payment receipt sheet. Now look at the invoice and payment tracker, out of 10,000, 8,008 is allocated to the first invoice. And remaining payment is in advance. When a new invoice is raised to customer CD, this advance payment will be allocated to the new invoice. Let me make another invoice for customer CD. Click on Save Invoice button. Invoice saved with invoice number 2. And the data of new invoice automatically transferred to all sheets. In Payment Tracker, the advance amount of 1192 is auto-allocated to the second invoice of customer CD. And final balance is given as 4,075 receivable. To open the backup folder of invoice, go to Invoice Sheet and click on this Open Invoice Backup button. Here you see, invoice backup folder opened where there are two invoices that we just created. 
So, that was the demo part of how this system works. Now, let's learn how to set up this template for the first use. After you download this template, it will be saved in a compressed, zipped folder. Extract it by right-click, click on Extract All, then Extract. This is the template inside extracted folder. Open the extracted folder, right-click on the template, then click on Properties. Unblock the workbook by marking on the box. Then click on Apply and OK. Now, open the template by double-click. Click on Enable Editing. Click on Invoice Sheet. To change the company name, address, PAND, etc., first unprotect the worksheet. For this, click on Home, Format, then Unprotect Sheet. Put the unprotect password, which is ABCD, then click on OK. Now change the company name, address, and PAN number. To change the company name and invoice number, right-click on Invoice Number Cell, then click on Format Cells. In the Custom Formatting Code, replace XYZ with your company's short name. And if you want to change year, replace 2024 with another year. Then click on OK. To put the invoice sheet's formula calculated cells in locked state, select another sheet and again select the invoice sheet. This will lock the auto calculation cells of invoice sheet to prevent from accidental change or delete of formulas. Go to Customer and Item Master Sheet and update the actual details of your customers and items. To save the invoice PDF copies in your computer's disk, you need to change the folder path in VBA code. For this, first make a folder at any location of computer. For example, I am making folder in desktop. Open the folder, click on address bar, select the path and copy. Open invoice template, then go to VBA editor. Replace this folder path with your folder path. For this, select existing folder path address. While selecting, do not take the backslash. Paste the folder path that you just copied. Do the same for two more appearance of folder path variable. Click on Save button of VBA window. This will prompt you to save a copy of this workbook with a different name. So, select a location, change the name, and save it as macro enabled file type. Close existing workbook and open the new one that you saved with different name. Click on this Enable Editing button. Now you are all set. You can start using this automatic invoice system. Let's create an invoice and see if everything works fine. Everything is working as expected. Close the workbook and check in the backup folder. Invoice backed up as PDF in the new folder. So, this is all about the demo and setup instruction of this automatic invoice in Excel. If you want to learn how to develop this system from scratch, watch the video tutorials given in description section below. To download this template, visit the website given in description section and search for automatic invoice. Thank you so much for watching.